We want to introduce you to the BC-7. This is part of a series running from the BC-7, BC-14, and BC-24. This is the new 2017 model and it has some really cool features on here we want to show you, mainly for safety. And it's very important that you follow these procedures closely uh, to avoid any damage to the machine to avoid the warranty and most important for your safety. One of the first things you notice is right below the uh, KPA gas gauge is a warning in yellow. Stop, never open valve until pilot light comes on. We'll explain that. But this unit is equipped for safety reasons so that when igniting the roaster rather than all 12 burners, which is what there is in the BC-7, there's 16 in the BC-14, and there's 32, which is quite a bit, in the BC-24. But before igniting all of the burners, there's a safety feature that allows only the pilot burner to ignite before turning on the gas. So never turn on the gas with this valve until first hitting the power button and then watching visually that the pilot light at the igniter needles comes on and then slowly turn this on to light all the rest of the gas. And of course, as always with a gas roaster, it's vital that there be airflow, 10 to 20 percent of airflow, which is controlled through the manual dial damper. As you can see, the manual dial damper systems right here and unlike some of our other models, the manual dial damper here starts at zero on the right side and you turn it counterclockwise to increase the uh, airflow. So we want it at about 10 to 20 percent before we start the roaster. Looking at the back of the roaster, you can see uh, here's the uh, speed control, here's the plug for the uh, um, chaff unit fan, and right down here is the valve for the pilot burner and this should always be left open by turning it counterclockwise. Never attempt to start the machine without that manual or that uh, valve, pilot light valve turned on. Here's a close-up of the valve and all, like all gas valves you turn it counterclockwise to turn it on. So we're going to take you through the startup and show you you hit the power button, turns on the machine, you make sure that your air flow is at least 10 to 20 percent and that your valve on the back for the pilot light is open and then you press the igniter button which on this machine says baking. There's another safety feature we want to show you on the uh, BC uh, units and this is on all of the BC units actually on all of our roasters when you go to hit the igniter if there's no gas getting to the igniter within a, a number of seconds the igniter needle uh, it shuts off the uh, solenoid cutting off all potential gas coming through for safety and then sets off an alarm we'll show you here so you can hear the buzzing of the uh, igniter needle sparking trying to light and after several seconds of attempting to light rather than letting the uh, burner room fill with gas if there is gas going in there it shuts off the solenoid and sends off an alarm the way to redo that is turn off the igniter button make sure your gas is properly set up to go into the machine and that you have proper airflow and then attempt it again we now have the gas hooked up to the machine uh, we're going to show you when you, with this turned off, the valve turned off in front, all you do is hit the igniter button, the baking button, and it should alight. And when it does light, the light should stay on. We'll show you a close up of that pilot light coming on. We're hoping it's in focus. It's kind of hard to focus through the glass, but as you hit the igniter button, also called the baking button, you can see only the pilot valve turns on. At this point, you can now slowly turn on the front gas valve, and as you do that, 
it should begin to light up the other uh, burners as you can see and then you can begin preheating your machine for the roast only after your igniter is lit the igniter light is on and you visually see the pilot light in the window which you can see over there then you can turn this gas valve on slowly counterclockwise as I'm doing here and it will begin lighting all the burners and then you'll see on your roaster the KPA climbing as you allow more and more gas during the preheat so now you're ready to preheat the machine to the desired temperature which for a lot of people is between about 350 400 degrees bean temperature or drum temperature or in this case it says well bean temperature and then you'll be ready to start a roast please remember with all roasters that the first time you start it at the beginning of the day the temperatures on the gauges will not be entirely the temperature of the steels in the drum and so therefore a lot of people will uh, preheat their drum above the charge point perhaps uh, 400 degrees or 425 or whatever and then uh, let it preheat for a couple extra minutes no need to go extended and then cut off the heat which the heat can always be cut off by hitting the uh, baking button again we re remind you uh, to start it back up again go ahead for safety reasons turn off the front valve again ignite the uh, uh, pilot light and then uh, turn on the uh, gas to the desired KPA in this case since we're preheating we want to take it up to about two and a half perhaps as high as three really no reason to ever go past three on this machine as you can see the the bean temperature or, or the drum temperature is climbing pretty rapidly uh, the airflow temperature staying right along with that and uh, usually of course you can hit the the timer uh, which i should have done at the beginning that times the preheat most preheats on gas roasters are around five no more than 15 minutes depending on the ambient temperature uh, obviously you don't want to store the roaster or keep the roaster in, in a building below 50 or 60 degrees as that will affect the roast as well as the roaster but here we can see it climbing and in our next uh, segment we'll take you through a first roast Another feature we want to tell you about is that's new on the 2017 models is the emergency shut stop button generally speaking we encourage you never to use that button unless there's an emergency because it's going to shut down the entire machine including stopping the drum perhaps if you allow the uh, beans to ignite by overheating which is as you can see when our preheat here if you ever let your machine get that hot you are going to ignite the beans uh, but in the event that you accidentally do that you want to shut off all airflow to the drum and then hit the stop button which automatically turns off the machine it cannot be turned back on again until you turn it to the right and the button pops back out and then it will be able to start again but that's only in extreme cases would you ever use that emergency stop button